Hello everybody, welcome to the most fun, the same lizard man coach that um, I played before with this team. Max Milgram, Drew with us, there, it was a 1-1 draw last time we played. He's not the best coach, which is why he didn't beat me, <laughs> um, because you know, lizard man, it's basically an auto win for them, um, playing against Nurgle. But um, we'll see, you know. Oh, God. We'll see. I've got a little bit more block now against him, a little bit of mighty blow. So um, I might have a little bit more chance this game. Might beat him, you never know. He does have a babe, though. Under <laughs> the scrolling chat, you need badass. <laughs> He's a badass. <laughs> the cocksucker. <laughs> um, I don't know. I might, I might just record sounds for them. Yeah, that's true, VIP Adonta Kellys. That's very true. That's very true. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the fun house. It's a whole lot of fun. Prizes to be won. I should play that sound. I should play that all the time. <laughs> ben does find a way. I B L G F Defense Because I'm American. I think I'll go like this. Cause I think he scored fast, didn't he, last last game? I've got a feeling he scored fast. Um quite fast. Anyway. Whoa, there's a fucking pestigore there. The fuck am I doing here? Yeah. Right. He's a bad ass. Right. He doesn't have any block. He's on nine, he's on seven, so put the seven guy there. Right. Good enough, isn't it? Might have blown the same side. Well, it's a block on one side and a block on the other. So I think that's I think that's okay. Right. I guess he's gonna go on this side though, so we could go set up this way. So I'll go this way. He's a bad arm. <laughs> Best of luck, good friend. <laughs> Officially American. No way, super duper move. <laughs> oh man, please don't make me laugh as much as yesterday. Fucking hell. The Christmas man. The Christmas man was just too much. <sighs> oh, Blitz. A blots. It's obviously not so good against lizards. Um, because basing him means that he just gets to knock everybody down anyway. But if I can get this guy not blitzable, that's pretty good, isn't it? This guy to here. The other guy the other side. And blitz this side. Right. Blitz with block. Click too quick there, didn't I? Fatal mistake clicking too quickly. Get him in. Yeah, it's kind of shit that he can just he can just two D people, but still, his Saurus are all are all tied up, and it's my mobile players are free to hunt skinks. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> but I'm just gonna give up a million blocks.
catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> That's a great, a great title. Well done, Shawnee. You really like the catch me outside, don't you? If only there was a game that played it still. Yeah, men's is risky. It is. But it's risky. Ah, look, okay, he's got three reels. He's got no block, though. So it's um, it's risky for him, too, isn't it? I do have reserves. So. Has me outside, you PB. Do well done. And plus, he can roll ones on the blocks as well, can't he? With a foul appearance, he's got like effectively got a G GFI to hit these guys. So the best, they're the best pieces in the game to get blocked, aren't they? That was good play, wasn't it? Not following up with them, then following him on three. I didn't fail the pickup though, did he? The cunt. That was good play. That was good play, wasn't it? Knocking them all to there and then following up on the last one. Can't argue with that play. It's not easy for these guys, though, is it? That video is absolutely ancient, yeah. There you go, Croxy fail. Banged on. I mean, he'll probably kill this guy, but never mind. Oh, no, his guy was injured. <gasps> but he's got to apple it. He didn't apple it. Does he not have an apple? He didn't apple it. Why you no apple? <gasps> Why didn't he apple it? What the fuck? Why didn't he apple it? Holy shit. Absolute madman. I really wanna I really wanna blitz him just to get all these guys in the cage, but then obviously if I blitz him I could um, have a player on the ball. Base the ball. Could be good. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and then I could GFI and base the ball. Oh, I really want to blitz a skink. Just because it does control where he has to blitz, doesn't it? Might kill him. Got block. Could base the ball. If I do base the ball, then he can go one, two, three, four, GFI in. And then slam in this guy. But then blitzing here is good, isn't it? Getting two warriors in the front. He can still base up there. Alright. Alright, I'm going to be a bit, little bit more sensible. Why didn't I just go one square before hitting him? No idea. Put them on there. In there. This is a free 2D, isn't it? This, this is the bad thing about this one. Could put him there, maybe. Maybe just leave him back as a safety of sorts. Men's did work there, didn't they? 
That was a good. That was a good start, wasn't it? What a bit of skank! Oh my god! Oof! Yeah, that was the bad thing about not putting him in, is that it gave him the two D there, the near. So maybe I should have. Maybe I should have based with him as well, seeing as everyone else was based. Now he gets to blister my blow, yeah. Yeah, okay, then I guess I should have... I guess he should have gone in there. Shit. Shut. I did the old half-mans. Not really half-mans, but just not completely full-mans as it could have been. He likes to... He liked the sideline cage last game. So, he fails this dodge here. Well, he's not even getting banged on, really, is he? TBH, no, he doesn't fail it. So, I mean, if he scores, it's okay, isn't it? I really don't mind him scoring in three turns. Down a Crocs. But I would really like to get a Nurgle Warrior in, if it was possible. Maybe block him, blitz him, and then get in with him, or no. GFI to cover it. And then he just blitzes and bases. No, that's not good enough, is it? Okay, I should have kept him back as a safety because I knew that's what he wanted to do. He can base him. He wants to blitz him. So therefore he needs to stand up. I need to cancel that assist so it might as well be with him. I guess don't re-roll here if it's a failure. Banged on. GFI is to here. Then he's just going to run all the way down, isn't he? Oh, he makes one GFI to there. He could just go here. I like the double GFI though. And he's at least in contact. And obviously I just don't re-roll it. Come on agility one guy. Oh yeah, bang on. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't like the blitter skink mental um, strategy, to be honest. I have powers and you don't. What's this, Sean? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Undistracted health screen. Oh man. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> oh dear, that's pretty good. How how old are those pictures of Fashbinder though? He looks like ten years old. That's crazy. Come on, roll a one. Yes! <laughs> oh, double ugly! Did he re-roll it? No, he didn't re-roll it. Thought he re-rolled it because he's down to one already. He must have used to re-roll first turn as well. Oh no, first turn. Was this first turn? This was first turn, wasn't it? So he's already he used to re-roll last turn as well. Fair enough. He'll probably just fucking stunt you through for the touchdown, won't he? But if he fails a dodge, it's good. And if he scores, it's all right, isn't it? Six turns with three re-rolls. Isn't the worst thing in the world. Oh, he's just gone that way. What a dirty dingo, he's so fast. He's so fast. Oh, he's out of rerolls on turn three. The dirtiest of the dingoes. He's getting three dice blitzed as well. Well, not really. I can even base me. Fuck. If only he hadn't gone stupid, eh? If only he hadn't gone stupid, fucking beast. Hmm. Still five turns. As long as I can make him score next turn, it's all right. Even with two re-rolls. Five turns with two re-rolls is okay. I'm going to block him to get these guys through. Well, he's not doing that anyway. What a dirty dingo. Made some rolls there, didn't he? Oh, re-rolls is great for Right, so he's just going to come back first, I think. Hmm, where is he? You could go up here and then get a Randall block in. No, I've got to make this block, haven't I? So to do that, he needs to base him. Mm. Useless cunt. Fucking activated him twice and he failed both times. Piece of shit. Oh, so just need a push here. Good. So he can get back two GFIs to base him, and then he dodges and two GFIs to hit him on three dice. Do I do I use a reroll to make all of that happen? I guess I might as well. Move him back first. Hey? Oh wow. Banged on. I guess I could go for the cheeky chance of a knockdown there, couldn't I? It's just I really don't want to have to re-roll it, that's the problem. And then could go for the dodge out of there to take take up that Saurus later. Chance of a knockdown's pretty good. I could even take the both down, because at least he's based. So yeah, I can take the both down here. No. Cause um 
two dice and two GFI safer than three dice and four GFI. Well, the thing was, this way the two GFIs means he's marked, isn't it? It makes the mark. The mark is therefore easier. And he's still got a one in nine out of this now, hasn't he? Um, so at least he's marked. That's the thing. I thought if I do the two GFIs first, at least he's marked. And then it also, yeah, it also turns into a three dice as well. But the main benefit is that at least he's marked on two two plus rolls. Whereas if you if you just go straight for the blitz, you've got to make two two plus rolls and a three plus. And if you fail the first three plus, then he's back there. So I might as well. Like I could have, I could have just moved him here first, and then done the dodge. But um, you think making it sound like well, there you, go. you can think what you like. <laughs> you could you could even be right. <laughs> um, he could one dice him at the end. He could dodge. And go like there if I am. Um, if I'm it, I think I've got to go for this three dice though, and I'll, I'll use a reroll because two rerolls should be enough, shouldn't it? In five for five turns. And now I have to reroll it. Take the both down. Ah shit! Yeah, it's, it's in a tackle zone though. I knew I I'm never run out of time. Well, I have done, but three minutes is a long time, isn't it? He gets to blitz with the Saurus, though, doesn't he? But still, he's one in three to fail a pickup, one in nine to fail a blitz, and still five turns to score with two with three rerolls is good, isn't it? We should got the armor break. Maybe I should have re-rolled the three dice. Hit. Maybe I should have done. Would have been really good to have just powered him. But I couldn't have picked up the ball afterwards, could I? But if I had just rolled a power, I could have tried this dodge to tag the Saurus. Which would have been really good. Come on, one in three. He might fail. Maybe maybe I should have re-rolled it. Once I'd got there with the three dice, maybe I should have re-rolled it. But look, he's got no re-rolls. I've got five turns to score with three re-rolls. I can even throw a foul out, potentially. So, he's down a Crocs. I think, I think I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with him scoring that turn. I'd have much rather he scored in three, but... Like Kevin Garnett, anything is possible. Got to expose the skink now, hasn't he? For a three dice block, mighty blow. Put these back here. Well, not here. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not great, but it's doable, isn't it? <laughs> Quick snap. Quick snap. Very nice for getting that guy to actually just assist. He covered. He covered the. Um, the blitz possibility and then got to do that as well. I might just go for the basing again on offense this time. Because if his if his Saurus are occupied, he's um he's not doing much, is he? Apart from swarming me with skinks, I guess. <laughs> oh. Good job I've got all the rerolls, eh? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, right, fuck it. Get 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 his get his Saurus Mando. Otherwise known as almost trying to lose the game. Gotta make the block, haven't I? Because it's better than <laughs> better to fail the block than to um than to not even try. Yes, huge, huge pickup roll. Almost essential for getting the touchdown, wasn't it? Picking up, the, pick up the ball, almost essential. You know what I mean in terms of the time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn five can get to here. Turn six, turn seven. So, plenty of time now after the pickup. But if it had been a fail pickup, it would have been tight, tight on time. Yeah, Kinder surprise. This uh, Kinder's massive in in Germany. The old Kinder chocolates. Kinder Überraschung. <laughs> Crazy. Doing the John Madden. Yeah, that was that was a prop Randy Townsend uh, thing. You need kind of need the ball. It's essential. Picking up the ball is kind of essential to win to a scoring. But no, that turn it was kind of essential because if I if I fail, you know I didn't have a reroll for it. Next turn. It would have just been horrible. So I was pretty unlucky to get the double skulls there. I was only going to make two two dice blocks with block and one three dice block with block before I picked the ball up. I was pretty unlucky to fail one of them. So you know, already maybe you know, and maybe if I'd rerolled that three dice block, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have knocked him down. Um, I don't think I rolled a pow that turn. I might have done, but I don't think I did. No, I did. But you know, it's you're not that likely to roll a power. You? Obviously, if I had the block guy to make the blitz, like I should have done, I should have probably just got the um. Probably should have just kept my um, block mighty blow guy back as a safety, and then I would have had block on the blitz, and then it would have been all right. No. He's regen though, because there was no cutscene. Yeah. All right. Give it a two dice block. Get your player killed. Seems fair. Seems fair. Doesn't it? It's moving fucking six. That's the thing. You've kind of got to give away blocks against them because otherwise they're fucking moving six. They just run around and do anything. Don't do anything they fucking want, don't they? Fucking skins. Fucking saw us even. No man, he's just putting everyone in on this. I nearly marked him as well with a claw mighty blow. Oh, he's failed. Good. Yeah, he's got no rerolls, has he? Banged on. Oh god, this guy can get surfed. No man. No man. Get banged on. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I want the ball to be there. Which means he wants to be here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then he wants to be there. And then. Uh, right. Probably just power him here, but. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not really safe enough, is it? I don't want to make a GFI. I don't want to make a one dice blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. I would only have to make one GFI. 
but do I want to have to make one GFI is the question. He definitely wants to stand up. It also means that I get to two dice this guy as well and take the boat down, don't I? I could one dice a Saurus, but that seems kind of a horrible idea. I guess where he is, it's safe, isn't it? It's safe where he is. So I guess I could go the one die here. Oh no, the two die here. And then into a two die split. Yeah, okay, so just go for the, go for the beast activation. Go for a safe beast block. Sweet. Really sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can go back here. And he can go up here. And he can 2D this little shit. Keep him on the beast. Yeah, move that guy away. And then just leave him to roll dice as good, isn't it? So he's got no rewards. Children death trap. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Paul Dano falls by that t-shirt. Oh, man. I really need a Jimmy Fantastic t-shirt of some, some kind, don't I? Team Fantastic one. Three turns is alright, isn't it? It's just fucking out keeping the Saurus away from from banging on you. It's kind of annoying. That was that was a great beast block. I'm glad I'm glad the beast didn't fail. TF stay on a t shirt, I think. Ooh, probably wouldn't be so good at the Guaya Weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe the TF logo. Oh man. Feeling passing three plus dodges, what the actual fuck. Two GFIs and a and a foul appearance to make without a reroll. He could definitely fail somehow here to make the block. Yeah. Bang on. So, safe moves first. He wants to get up. The field. He could stand over his dead body. Oh, he can do it. Oh, shit, it's a GFI. I'd really love to make that three dice, though. Hmm... I'd really like to make the, th the Blitz three dies too. What's this like over here? Is that is that a good move? Probably. He can make some dodges through, can't he? He can't get a Saurus around. But he can make some dodges to get um get dirty dingoes in. I think the best place for this guy is definitely standing in front of the down Saurus. This makes it a lot harder for him to get the two dice. On the ball. I 
guess just block him. Bang on. Blitzer skink. <laughs> Blitzer skink. And yeah, he can just go and mark these two. He's alright, isn't it? So on reconsidering, this guy would have been a lot better of square back, wouldn't he? Would have been a lot better for him, but never mind, it is what it is. Good afternoon, smelly elbow. <laughs> Give me a pound for risking a kill this game. Well, like, maybe not because he's um he's saving his apple. Now, he's used his blitz anyway. I mean that was the that was the thing, wasn't it? By not having the warrior on him, it made it easier for him to make that blitz. But I have got a bit of time to clear. To clear these guys, with it being turn seven now, could even make the GFI to score or a chain and score this turn. That might be the best play. Might is stick a guy in, blitz him, score turn seven. I don't think he'll be able to score a one turner. I just don't think he'll know how to score a one turner. The bad thing is he'll get more chance, more bangs on. He's already banging on me a bit though. Maybe just make the touchdown is, is a good play here. <laughs> Fresh air sea blowing through your assless chaps. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I can maybe blitz him. Oh, it's hard though, because he would have to go to block. Oh no, I can put a guy in here to block and then blitz that way. Yeah. So he can block him. In fact, he doesn't even need to. He's got block. Get banged on. Haha, <laughs> I've got block and you don't. <sighs> Did kind of want to just score though. This is not the sidestep one, it's the movement one. Sidestep's off. So 3D for a push. God. Oh god, by pushing him there it means he can't go diagonally to go anywhere. Could maybe go here with the ball? Oh no, I wanna go forward though. Fuck. If I stand for one forward, it's pretty easy for him to get a one dice on the ball, isn't it? A couple of dodges. Make this 2D. No, nah, it's not it's not worth it. Nah, but then he can just make no he can't. Yeah, fuck it, I'll risk it. I'll risk it for a biscuit. I've got I've got to I've got a reroll. And same with here, might as well go for this one dicer, I think. Right. So they're as they were, but an extra square forward. Maybe I should have just made that GFI then. City cares where I hand after the skin. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Look, I mean, look, 35 times out of 36 I score. What's the chance of him stopping me here? He's got... He's got to make a 5 plus dodge into a... Well, a 3 plus dodge, and then a 5 plus dodge, and then a 2 dice and get the knockdown. Maybe it, maybe the GFI would have been better. But then this way he only gets one chance to get his um, skink back. No, oh, he just needs to make the dodge to get the 2D, doesn't he? So he's about a 1 in 6 to get the knockdown here, I guess. If I'd got the power, I would have scored. If I'd got the power, I would have scored. But I just really don't want to have to make a GFI. But then, yeah, the, him him knocking me down is 1 in 6. Instead of a 1 in 36. I bought down. Also, it wasn't a one in six. No, it was higher than a one in six. Well, use the push, madman. <laughs> what an absolute madman! What a madman! Fucking hell! Right. So now I definitely can't chain him forward this turn. I just gotta get a push now, haven't I? I can't do it with a block guy, can I? One, two, three, four, five, no. No. So two dice needing a push. All right, so it's still down to a GFI to score. I'm gonna make this three dice block first though. Three dice with blocks gotta be done, hasn't it, on a skink? Let's be honest. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> okay now. Right. <laughs> fucking hell. That was some super fucking pixel hugging right there. Yeah, it was. Holy shit. Yeah, it's just one GFI. <laughs> Game is asserting its dominance. Yeah, that was scary, wasn't it? <laughs> a double skull there, but... Luckily it was the three dice. Ah, oh, his guy comes back anyway. <laughs> would have been just... I'm not sure about that. <laughs> it would have been just... Thanks, Johnny Five. Thanks. <laughs> the rotter would have been a one dice there, but yeah, I could have I could have blocked with him and blocked with him, then blocked with him, but then I would have had nobody to blitz with. I don't think. Maybe I would have. Been. But it'd be more two dice blocks, and plus the rotter didn't have block. I don't know. A push wouldn't have fucked me. I could have because I could have blitzed the other skink and made an extra GFI. I think. I don't know, but yeah, maybe I misplayed. I never say I'm perfect, despite despite I've got that thing saying Jimmy's always right. I never, I never actually mean it. All right. Right. This this is for if he gets the blitz, isn't it here? That should be enough. Hopefully. Your team is still shit level it up. I'd like to. It's not that easy though, is it?
That's good that he gets to come back to protect the ball now. Not really protecting it, but you know, more than nothing. That rock can get punched. Hmm. <laughs> He should have gone here, shouldn't he? To fully elf screen it. But still, it's not easy for them to get through to the ball. Four re-rolls with that, with that brilliant coaching. Could have re-rolled it. I think I want to block with him and then just not block with him. Get over there keep the ball safe. That seems dumb, doesn't it? Not making a block seems dumb. Oh. Okay, old huge. It's big, it's huge. Huge. Just like just like my Nurgle Warriors hands. It's huge. He could even base him? Nah. Base him. Yeah. No, protect him. He's kind of alright where he is, isn't he? Yeah. You can 2D him if he wants. This should be enough to stop him getting a Saurus in on the ball. Maybe one further back. <laughs> yeah, Jillian, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Maybe I should have tried to score the turn before with the GFI, but you know, he should have retaken really that ball down, shouldn't he? I guess I misplayed with it, not sco not trying to score the previous turn. I guess I did because it was too easy for him to just get the. It was, it was yeah. He was one in six to score. Well, he was one. He was one in six to stop me because half the knock, half the dice knocked me down, and he, he passed the dodge in a five plus. So he's one in six to get the ball off me, whereas I was one in thirty six to fill a touchdown. So yeah, <laughs> it was it was it was it was. I did block from the wrong direction. Yeah, that's true. But to, I would have had to make more block, more two dice blocks the other way. But yeah, I probably should have done it. I don't know. I probably did it. I probably did score the wrong way. Um, I don't know. Dodge. Who needs to score? You can kill skins. You gotta score. There's no point in killing skins if you don't score, is there? The thing. But well, this is great, isn't it? Down a Saurus and a Crocs. It means that he's full of shithead skins. Oh, he does get a pin against the sideline, doesn't he? I guess that's the bad thing about having the Nurgle Warrior there. Oh, no, he doesn't. Well, he will. He'll re-roll it. He's got four. Yeah, getting pinned on the sideline is a bastard. Yeah, he has played. We drew the, the other time. Oh my god. Shaq's awesome, isn't he? <laughs> That's amazing. Right. So at least I don't have to get him get him off the sideline this turn due to him being fucking banged on. Could blitz a skink or a saurus. Well, first things first, move the ball over here. Protect the ball. 
See, I think banging all these guys down is better than banging this Saurus down, this Skink down, but then I don't get to bang him down. But I would get to protect the ball anyway, so... Yeah, okay, bang down the Saurus. With the mighty blow. Or not. I don't bang him down. I don't mind. Haha, <laughs> I've got block and you don't. <laughs> Is it worth activating him? Probably not. Not worth moving him. He could get surfed, couldn't he? Pretty easily as well. One, two. Ugh, if this Saurus blitzes him, gets a Saurus basing the ball. Probably with skinks as well, but I don't know. I just feel like I should do it. <sighs> I kind of just want to base him here. That seems okay. That's why I said just go on his own. You want to shaft as well. Right? <laughs> Not banging on the skinks. The thing is though, the Saurus that was more important for keeping the ball safe, wasn't it, you know? No, the aim of the game is to score with this score with this um pestico. Got to just win the game first and foremost. The most important thing, isn't it? The most important thing is just win. No, yeah, he does just get to blitz him then, doesn't he? Which does base the ball with a Saurus, but then he just gets mighty blow blitzed, which is alright. <laughs> I think keep keeping your ball safe is is always the most important thing. I mean, blitzing skinks is fun, obviously. Block and mighty blow, especially if you three dice them. But the thing is, if he if he makes a play with the skinks, I just get to hit them anyway, and um, and kill two birds with one stone, don't I? That's the thing. And obviously, the less saurus and and croxigors they have, the easier it is to bang on the skinks. So, keeping these guys locked down is good. He can block that skin, can't he? Just even pin him there. Maybe he'll pin him with him. You might block him, might bing him down. Nurgle Funhouse. Nurgle aren't very fun. No, they're not. They're not. It's funny because at low TV, they're not fun for whoever's using them. And at high TV, they're not fun for whoever's facing them. So they're basically never fun, are they? Good old Nurgle. Whoops. Trying to play my quicker. I'll tab out to play my quicker game now. the one dice. 
after not activating him to just maybe kill the guy instead he gets one diced fucking prick prick fucking beast useless piece of shit I guess I get more blocks on Saurus now 2D with, well, if he stands up 2D with block 2D with mighty blow blitz him block him block him Alternatively, block him. Well, block. Got to have to block him first. Well, stand him up first. Safe moves first. The only thing that's a threat is the is the Saurus, isn't it? So it's not like I've got to move with the ball this turn. Right. I'd really like to GFI twice with him, so I'll leave him on the ball for now. Right. Two D with with block. Let's go. Haha, <laughs> I've got block, you don't. Perfect. Gives him the 2D in. Would have loved it to have been 3. I have to push him to there so he doesn't cancel this as there. So now there's a 2D to be made there, isn't there? And I guess just go forward one. <laughs> So now I have to make these two GFIs. Or just one dice in. Right, I'll make the second one then. Oh yeah, made GFIs. Get banged on. The reason I made that block first was if I, this one had got a push, then he wouldn't get the assist anymore. Right, got a cage, got the ball in a cage. Unbelievable. Mid GFIs, yeah, mid two GFIs. Yeah, that was why, because I wanted to make GFIs just for, so the failure state was okay. That was it. Two rerolls for five turns is okay, isn't it? I just need a foul 14 turns and not get caught. Absolutely. Need to cross the halfway line. How many players does he have on the pitch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is nine versus eleven. A two-man advantage, and they are a skink and a crocs. So it should be easy, but it's it's kind of not, is it? Fucking lizards. Fucking overpowered lizard men's. Um, I've been playing Blood Bowl for 27 years. <laughs> About. Or 26. Nearer 26 than 27. So, yeah. <laughs> this is his entire so year ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's quite a long time, isn't it? <laughs> hey. I've got a block and you don't. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, well, second edition is when I started, actually. Um, it came out in 88, but I got it in 1990. Um, and then... I don't know, I just like the... Um, I like the box art... Mainly by Is it Pete Nifton or Knife and how do you how do you pronounce that surname? Does anybody know? Weeksy, you're a smart guy, you should know how you how you pronounce Pete Nifton or Knifton. Um So So <laughs> Um I'd like that I liked that. I liked the art a lot. Right, if I blitz there he's gonna sidestep to here, isn't he? So I'd like to stop that square. But how do I do it? By powering him into it. That would be the best way, wouldn't it? He doesn't have block, though. Just 
Because he'd like to go up there to assist this block into this block. He's got to stand up first. And he's got to stand up first. I guess if I could fill in this square, then he could blitz from here. But then how do I get this? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess that's how I do it. So yeah. Pretty good. The so this Saurus is on the loose though, isn't he? That's that kind of sucks. <laughs> don't get, don't get to assist him. Giving up a hit on a skink does feel bad, but it's just more important to hit Saurus, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. So he can't come around here, really. Oh, what did I do? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, he's in the right place there, isn't he? Oh god, mighty blow. Got him. A death! <laughs> oh, you dirty dingo. You dirty dingo, Weeksy. Knifed him. <laughs> I don't know, I really don't know how to pronounce it. And it's it's a shame because he's like my idol when it comes to when it comes to oh, yeah. art. Oh, One, God. two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Oh. Just go here maybe or well here. So you can minus two D me for free. But it means you can't get the dodge in. Here he can't get he can't get a one dice at all, but he can get a mi e a free minus two. But he can't. Oh. It's already a free minus two because he's coming this way. So. I guess I should have stood here. No, and I couldn't know. Right, it's already a free minus two, so I I can't. I've got to stop it being a free one, haven't I? It was so easy for him to get out. I couldn't. I couldn't protect him from a minus two. So I should send him some fan mail. Yeah. No, he can't one dice me. No. Now he absolutely cannot one dice me. Um, he can minus two dice me with a skink. But if he wasn't there, he could have. He could have moved a skink in there and just one one diced me. <laughs> I've already told him that I'm his number one fan on, on Facebook but um, yeah I know mishaps I know I, I'm always aware it's just um, it's just not that easy is it you know you can't just fucking potato away you gotta you gotta work it oh he used his apo anyway he used his apo on it that he saved from his badly hurt crocs that maybe lost him the game not apo on that whoa what's this I've never seen that before Still, yeah. Yeah, he just he can't get a one dice though, can he? He need to get an assist in, which he can't. He can't get the assist because skinks are strength two. Yeah. Whereas if this guy wasn't here, he could have just dodged him like around and put put the skink there, 
and then this one could have blitzed, well, or this skink could have dodged through to here, and this skink could have blitzed or whatever. It was kind of too easy. To, it was too easy to get one dice, I thought. So although I give him an easier minus two dice, although I give him an easier minus two dice doing it this way, it means he can't get a one dice. The free Saurus can blitz me from the bottom, but it's not easy, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Oh, yeah, you can. Don't tell him that. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. I counted that over and over and over again and thought he wasn't in range. Isn't that fucking stupid? I counted it over and over and over again and thought he wasn't in range. Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five, six, G five. No, he wasn't in range. Oh, I don't know. I can't fucking work it out. <laughs> I was sure he wasn't in range, but maybe he was. It was a touch. All right, good. I kept counting it and counting it and counting it. <laughs> all right. Fair enough then. Sidestepper isn't good, is it? Is this guy block? No. Tense. Tense on the skink, got him. Oh yeah. Ugh. He could block him and power him. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Except it's a minus 2D. This skink is a little cunt. Could blitz him. Yeah, this is the best way, isn't it? Block, and, uh, block as well. Safe moves first. Should have stood him up. Get the pow. Lucky dingo. Oh, I thought the camera move would have got me there. He could block him. I don't want to activate the beast there. But if I don't block him, if I block him, then I can make a bit of a cage, can't I? Got to follow first and count squares later. I'm pretty sure it's okay. One, two, three, four. It'll be a GFI. Got a reroll. Okay, good. And. Now I guess the crocs could, crocs, beast could activate, maybe. He could block. Hmm. I just don't want to re-roll anything. I guess this block's fine because it's both down, he's still, he's still getting hit by a beast anyway. And now the beast has to activate. Hmm. <laughs> okay, but it's not that bad because at least He's occupying him anyway, isn't he? Nurgle Warrior Cage, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the sidestep was at the top. Was at the top of all three. Yeah, this, this, the chain wasn't too hard, was it, really? You can't really do this with Nurgle because they just get so many fucking skills. He's got to turn off the skills all the time. Yeah, the, the Saurus have been stunned quite a bit, haven't they? Which is good. Where is this the killer that got stunned last time? Yeah. If, I hadn't, if I hadn't activated that beast, he would have still done something, wouldn't he? Cunt. Fucking 
fucking beast. I don't know how many times I've activated him. <laughs> but things have usually gone badly when I have. But then, you know, it's my fault for activating him, I guess. Shouldn't have been greedy. Shouldn't have gone for the greed blocks. I'm dreaming of a dead star. Ugh. Leave the beast alone. <laughs> yeah, that when the foul appearance activated like twelve times, that was amazing. He can get the cage up the other side now, can't he? Assist him, maybe. Dingo, it is only one dodge, isn't it? He's not the sidestep, is he? No. Well, not that it matters. Just, he's just going to get banged on whatever happens. No oh, shit. Oh shit. Hey. I guess this lets me walk away from the cage, which is good. 3D here, with block. Haha, I've got block and you don't. He gets the 3D in. Haha, I've got powers and you don't. That's pretty good. And now he gets to fuck off over here. He gets to blitz an actual good player instead of a shithead skink. Oh, oh. yeah! Oh, God. That's disappointing. Do I give up the block to complete the cage? Oh, the cage is complete anyway. Duh. I guess get Nurgle Warriors further forward because they're slow. Just raw pals, simple strategy, raw pals and KOs, pretty good. You died the movement guy, banged on. <laughs> dead skinks, yeah, dead skink, there was a dead skink, there you go. Movement 9 one as well. No turner now. <laughs> no, this, you can't get the skinks, unfortunately. Barbecue Saki, you can only get like non stunty um, strength three or four base players. So, unfortunately, cannot raise skinks. Cannot raise skinks from the dead. Sad times. Right, obviously have to man up the Saurus now. Safe moves first, he's got block. Good. I have broken the Saurus armor quite a lot, but then of course he's been down, down players a lot, hasn't he? Which has made it easier.
You can base him, I guess. I'm gonna have to make this blitz. Ugh. I'm gonna have to follow. He can make two moves to here. Or maybe just double mark the the Saurus, so he can't free himself. One, two, three, four, five. So he can get pushed back one. Hmm. Go here so he can't. He, the ball won't go out if he gets knocked down. Like he can just but <laughs> Here is your dead skin pound. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sludge Function. For my dead skin pound. Oh yeah. Yeah, if I go here, like or here, he just goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hits me anyway. So I might as well go here so he can't get the other one round to get um a one dice. Now he definitely can't get a one dice from a skink. Oh, I should have re-rolled it. Fuck. Just too quick to click. No, mm. right, I can re-roll this then. Hmm. Probably, probably makes it easier for him, doesn't it? Now it's a five plus dodge out instead of a instead of a six five. That was a bad. I still got the tentacles though. Oh my god, thank you very much, Sludge Functon. No, you can't newbie pro tiger. You cannot you cannot buy the dead guy because he's a skink. So Yeah, Brainless Chaos is done for pretty much, yeah. That's fair enough, isn't it? Get another guy in contact. Maybe. <laughs> no, there's no time to restart the chaos, Valenic, really, is there? It's no time now. So, well, I mean, there is, but I'm doing these Nurgle instead. Because the Nurgle are like so much easier to qualify than Chaos. Because I mean, I did great at the start with Chaos, didn't I? Wow, you didn't even make that second GFI. Is this the sidestepper? Yeah. Is this a trick question? <laughs> this oh, he hasn't got block. But if I put a guy in here and a guy in here, he can only sidestep to one of these three, and I just got so. I, I guess it wasn't easy for him to do something, but um, he could have done better than that, I'm pretty sure. Can I make a three dice with block? Yeah. If I get punished here, I'm unlucky, aren't I? <laughs> three dice with block. This would be pretty. Uh, this would be a pretty unlucky punish. Is gonna know. Not trips. Trips would be all right. So I got a reroll. It would have to been. It would have to have been hexa skulls, which would have been, which would have been really unlucky, wouldn't it? Like I don't know what the uh, chances is. One in forty-six thousand six hundred fifty-six. Yeah, 
That'd be pretty unlucky. The blob. That's not. That's almost a decent defense, isn't it? It's almost an acceptable defense. Right, best Fago gets gets to ride the bench now to avoid the rock. Protect the five star player point rotter. I'll level up, he got two cars. Excellent. Got a claw man's. Got a claw man's. He's on nine, which is pretty good, isn't it? And they're both on nine. He's on two. He's a bit shit. I'd like to replace him at some point. Two star players on the line, he's got five, he's got block. Right, seems good. I think that is a crazy idea. That is an insane idea, Overlord, yeah. Seed you can't get hit by a rock, think about it. Well at high TV I'd like fifteen, so I can always get a star player if I'm if I'm randomly up against like farmed wood elves. Then then you can get a a reserve or something, can't you? But Rule of five with 16 players so that all five can be protected from a rock. If he one turns this, I'll be impressed. Like, well, he seems to be setting up for it. That, that, I think he's set up correctly for it as well. Wow, holy shit. Holy shit, it looks like he's set up correctly. Maybe I should have put Noga Warriors on the line to, um, to stop the handoff. He's set up right, hasn't he? Watching is a blast. <laughs> Thank you very much. See Knuckles. Oh, he powered. He powered. That was bad. That was bad to pow. Oh, he's got no rerolls. Oh, right, fair enough. And he's still got the chance, hasn't he? He's still got the chance. He's he's not done bad there. No, he hasn't got the chance. He hasn't got the chance. But he, he did the right he did the right play. He did the right three to get the sides to to get, you know, to not not have to um he could have had the sidestepper there though, couldn't he? And just sidestepped to here. It still wouldn't have mattered though. But um holy shit. Thank you very much. Some nice some nice donations today. It's pretty good. Yeah, maybe I should have put Noga Warriors on the line. Hey. Five pound ninety five watching is a blast. Thank you, C Knuckles. And uh yeah, Sludge Functum. One pound dead skin pound. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, maybe that's the guy just never score. I didn't think he would have known how to one turn just because he played so bad the first game. I know that sounds harsh. <laughs> but um, when somebody's scoring on like turn three or turn four without any reason. I, this game I put pressure on him. The first game he scored on like turn two or three without, without any pressure on him to score. Which is, you know, I know it's an Inarian like thing to do. But usually that's a sign that people don't know don't know how to one turn isn't it if they're if they're scoring on purpose before turning it felt like a theater <laughs> hello vip beard and now yeah yeah normally i am um, i mute when i do it but there you go just drinking some water beautiful <laughs> gg <laughs> I'd rather keep that look. <laughs> well, yeah, I was pretty lucky that game, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair, I was very lucky that game. 
Thank you very much, VIP Kurgo. Unbelie unbelievable start from this team, isn't it? Holy shit. I was baited into talking in the chat. God, the, the get fucked then mute is going to be a wash and reroll. Well, I should have done. I can't buy anything for 100. Um, seven. So another block rotter. The most fun. 56 blocks. But then again, I got to make that many blocks by being up men. So it's it's a bit... It goes hand in hand, doesn't it? The number of blocks with the number of removals and stuff. Oh, movement. Oh, I've got to do it. I've, I think I've got to do it. I think as bad as it is as a first skill, it makes him the ball carrier. This has to be claw. No. No question. After going mighty blow first, he's going the mighty blow claw route. And I think I think this is blocked with it still being low TV. Well it's not that low, is it? It's actually not getting it's not that low anymore. Thirteen ninety. Um It's actually not even low TV anymore. Holy shit. Movement block show hands is is a pretty good carrier. And then obviously if he doubles at any point. It's just this is the first skill, it's so fucking poor. But look how many GFIs I've had to make and stuff. And like it just makes such a huge difference having a movement seven guy. So um Yeah, well it's good I mean I might sack him. So it might stay at well, it might go to fourteen hundred, yeah. But I guess there's 50 TV to go on, so it's 1440. Dirty player for sure. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't like fouling. I really don't like fouling. Yeah, wrestle's not bad because it's the only place. It's the, they're the only players that get to get wrestle. Uh, sure feet. <laughs> yeah, I think I think probably probably movement is just good, isn't it? Movement, sure hands, block, and then I've at least got. Like the guy to handle the balls while the other guy blitzes all the time. And, um, yeah. <laughs> right, so, I, yeah, he definitely, I'm definitely going to take the movement here. Like, the thing is, though, the, 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 the block does help more at low TV, but come on, and 5 2 0 is an amazing record for Nurgle after seven games. And it's not that far to like. He doesn't need block that much if he's all he's doing is carrying, and running around. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go movement. I just like it so much as well. Right, movement. Movement for the carrier. And then the only question is whether to sack this guy to go down to twelve, and then whether to go dirty player or block for this guy. I do like going block earlier. Um. I could get the third. I could even get rid of this beast, actually, couldn't I? Drop 140 TV. The beast is kind of cool, though. It's all interesting. Mm, I, I really don't like keeping injured players on the roster. I really don't like it. Movement is kind of a project piece. That's very true, Overlordy. But somebody has to carry the ball, right? So, um, so it might it, he's, he might as well be doing it, you know. <laughs> the beast has been shit since the high elf game, and he's so much TV. He is like a wizard TV. Um, yeah, yeah. The wizard, the wizard's really blowy. The wizard's really blowy. Movement's so good, though. You've seen how many games I've, like... I have drew a game because I failed the GFI. So, if I'd had movement, I would have won that game. Yeah, he can be... He's just better. He's better off being replaced, isn't he? Yeah, he could have... A, a block beast would be pretty good. But he, he would still roll a lot of ones. <laughs> but, yeah, the, be the beast is good at, like, 2,300 TV. The beast is good. But, um... <laughs> yeah. 
110 TV is ridiculous. He's a movement seven beast man, and he's 110 TV. It's horrible. When you think a war dance is 120, what a fucking joke. What a fucking joke that I'm paying 110 for a fucking 7338 piece of shit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um... No, I, I, movement's just better. Movement movement is really good. You don't need your hands that much because you can afford to fail pickups a lot of the time, can't you? Um, I think the movement's just so good. And, and, you know, it puts him on track to be... I think the best possible... I think the best... Um, exactly, Coach, good time, yeah. <laughs> He'll just roll a lot of ones, can be said about every piece and all of Jimmy's teams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Um, the thing about the movement, though, is that I think the best possible carry you can get for for a pe the best the best possible pester go would be movement eight, agility four, block dodge your hands. So there you go. Yeah, it's not really the best skill for the next match, the next five matches. Well, it might be the next match, it might be the best skill in the next couple of matches. If you think about it, if he scores three more touchdowns and he gets block. I'd rather he was seven three three eight block than seven three than six three three eight box your hands to be honest. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd I'd like to replace the warrior eventually, but just yeah, not not a priority because he's. Um, oh no, I didn't take movement over dodge. No, of course not. I I, I rolled a six and a four. I would never have taken the the seven on a on a double five. Um, but I would want to. <laughs> but yeah, I think movement seven's absolutely fine. Salt in human form. I don't know what I take though for that, this last skill. But anyway, I, sh I should end. I should end the. Um, I should end the stream. The not the stream. The the YouTube video. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.